Hi, my name is Madeline Welsh, and I'm here today to talk to you all about two elements of my culture that are very important to me. There are many ways to define culture, and we've heard a lot of them in class. But to me, culture is the lens through which you see the world. It can be aspects of who you are that guide your decision making, the way you interact with others, and how the world sees you. Culture is ingrained in each of us and can vary from something as small as a study group to something as large as the collective culture of human beings. I have decided to talk to you all about the female and Texan aspects of my culture. The female aspect of my culture is special because it connects me to women all throughout history. Women have traveled leaps and bounds from the oppressed position we held for the majority of history. And I believe there is a collective fiery spirit that lies inside women due to struggle and hardships faced by the women before us to obtain the freedoms and liberties we have today here in the U.S. In 1769, the Amer in the American colonies, the law said, by marriage, the husband and wife are one person, meaning that the legal existence of women was suspended during marriage. Then in 1777, all states passed a law to take away a woman's right to vote. But a year before this law was passed, Abigail Adams, a leader in women's suffrage and John Adams' wife, wrote to her husband and the Continental Congress, pleading them to, quote, Remember the ladies, and be more generous and favorable to them than your ancestors. If care and attention is not paid to the ladies, we are determined to form a rebellion, and will not hold ourselves bound to any law in which we have no voice or representation. So even in bleak times, there was a passion bubbling from within to get the rights and freedoms of their male counterparts. I like to believe they were not only fighting for themselves, but knew that their actions would impact every female to come after them. Although there are many, many characteristics traditionally considered female, they can mean something different to each of us. In terms of a vowel, it means being both strong and emotional, thoughtful and a little bit spacey, process-oriented and heart-centered, with values of peace, justice, and compassion. In terms of ascription, society has a tendency to view women as weaker and lesser than men. Today, on average, a woman earns about 80 cents for every dollar a man earns. This gives a clear picture of how women are viewed in American society. Although I am only 21, I've experienced my fair share of condescending and demeaning language from men and have learned to grow a thick skin. There are many gendered stereotypes that can be damaging to women, and I think the best way to fight them is to prove them wrong. Next, I will be discussing my Texan identity. I was born and raised here in San Antonio, Texas, and my family has had roots here going all the way back to the Battle of the Alamo. I am a daughter of the Republic of Texas on my mother's side, and our ancestor, Jose Cherubido Lasoya, was a former Mexican soldier who deserted and joined the Texian army. He participated in the siege of Bear County and then gave his life defending the Alamo, playing his role in Texas independence. It is an honor that one of my relatives had a hand in liberating the state that I live in today. My family is rich with Texas history and I feel like this connects me to the state more than just being a resident. It has shaped me into who I am today with values of independence, bravery, and to stand up for what I believe in. Texas has a rebellious spirit and isn't afraid to ruffle some feathers. Texas is also complex and unique. There is a wide array of cultures here, and Texans take pride in the state's sheer size, uniqueness, and pay homage to the history of state of the state. I think ascription towards Texans can be harmful and, in and inaccurate. In the media, Texans can be portrayed as an all-red conservative state with a backwards ideal system and redneck and white supremacy connotations. Yes, in some cases this can be true, but the big cities of Texas, including Austin, the capital, are proving this wrong. They represent change and diversity. They are urban cities that pay respect to the state's past history and culture, but also lead the way to a new Texas. Texas is important to me in many ways. I enjoy learning about the state's history, 
There are so many inspiring stories of bravery and overcoming hardships. Some traditional values held here in Texas are freedom, family, and faith, which I see in myself. And I am proud, like most Texans are, of my state. I think the state embodies being who, being true to who you are, standing up for it, and never taking no for an answer. This also intersects with the female aspect of my culture. Although I love Texas, it has not always been the best with history with women's rights. Texas was ranked by CBS Austin as the third worst state for women's rights, and Planned Parenthood has struggled immensely to gain footing here in the state and continues with this fight. Gender roles here are predominant and that can be challenging, but I do believe there is still work to be done and I can do my part by striving to be an example that women are designated for more than domestic life. Women are warriors of change and I have faith in our cause.